Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a woven treble clef. I'd say this is a pretty easy design, somewhere in between beginner and intermediate. If you'd like to see my start to finish process, stay tuned. Okay, I've got two pieces of 20 gauge square dead soft copper wire and these are 9 inches long and I'm going to weave them together. I'm using 26 gauge round wire for that and I'm using it off the spool. Now as an aside I got an angry comment on one of my recent videos because I advised using weaving wire off the spool. This person said that their wire came completely off their spool and was completely ruined because of that. I don't know how something like that can happen because I've been weaving off the spool for countless projects over five years of wrapping and I've never had that happen. My wire stays on the spool just fine so I don't know what to say about that other than go ahead and cut length of wire off if you prefer it that way. For me, weaving off the spool works just fine, so it's up to each of you individually how you want to navigate that. Okay, got that out of the way, so now I can start my weave. So to do that, I'm going to start with one wire and coil my weaving wire around it six times, and I'm leaving a long tail around three inches, and you'll see why as we finish up the pendant. Then I'll add my second wire and coil them both together twice. Now I'll coil the top wire six times. and then coil them both again twice. And then alternate back to the bottom wire with six coils again, and this is the pattern that I'll follow. And you can do any kind of weave pattern you want. You can also use a different gauge of weaving wire if you prefer. For some people, 28 gauge wire might be easier to work with than 26. 30 gauge might look a little smoother. Just do whatever you like.
and I'll finish the rest of this off camera. Okay, there's my finished weave, and I wove just about four inches in length. And I also left a tail of my weaving wire on this end. Now we can start shaping the treble clef, and I'm not going to make my first bend right in the middle, but a little closer to one end so I have a little more length on one side. I'm going to bring this side over top of the other side. Okay, now I'll bring it back around under that side. I'm going to make a loop with just this inside wire. And this is where I'm going to attach a bead, so I'm just checking the size here. I want it to be fairly snug around that bead, but with just a little bit of room to get my weaving wire through when I'm ready to tie it all together. And I'll snip off the excess. All right, and then I'll take that tail I left on the weaving wire to tie the bead onto the base wire.
All right, now I'll take that top wire and bring it down around my bead. Now I'll finish the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing down here with another bead.
And then I'll make some final adjustments. Just wanna make sure this is gonna lay nice and flat when it's being worn. I've got a little figure eight jump ring to hang it from, and then I can oxidize and polish. And here's our finished treble clef. And you can do this with or without beads if you prefer. You can also add a third bead at the top like I did here, and I just used 22 gauge half round wire to do that. And of course I'll show you a few others that I've done in the past. I did make one for my sister and I used her kids birthstones for it. Just a fun gift idea for you. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to help me make more of these tutorials, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, feel free to share pictures or videos of your creations with me because I love to see what my tutorials inspire. And if you don't follow me on those platforms, make sure to do so because I post lots of fun content on TikTok and IG that you won't see here on my YouTube channel. And I just want to end by saying have a fantastic day and remember to love your neighbor as yourself and in all things treat others as you want to be treated for this is the law and the prophets. God bless you guys and I hope to see you in the next video.